patient lay back against the person who's helping. Just rest their head back like that. Rolly, you can open your eyes. <laughs> hey, buddy. Playing He's playing silly. And then I have the parent or guardian hold their hands and then put their other hand on the forehead. Then I cup their chin. And now again, you can see the depth of the nasal swab. Again, I don't take, you can kind of push the nose up to help get the swab in. I usually don't do that because what I do is I go in just a little and then turn horizontal. <coughs> That's the real thing. Big boy. <laughs> okay, you can see he got upset for about times with the younger babies. We have to have a little extra holding help. We're going to have the mom in this case hold, and I've got a second person here who's helping to hold the head steady. So she knows that she's going to hold real still for me. You can notice that I t tend to hold and just kind of just gently support the child's chin so that they don't move a lot when you're doing the swab. Now she's going to feel just a little bit of tickly. You feel tickly right there, Yadira? Okay, so it's going to tickle, tickle, tickle. Okay, she says that's it. That was it. All done. Can you give me five? Now have our marked swab with our mark right here. That's the length of insertion for the NP swab that we're using on this young man based on his measurements. You gently go in, notice that we're staying horizontal to the base of his nose. He says this is tickling because I see him <laughs> laughing. And you can see that it's gently going in. It tickles a little bit, doesn't it, Edgar? Hi there. Bruce always put on protective clothing like a mask, plastic eye shield, and yellow gown to keep everyone safe from germs. For your mom, dad, or another grown up might need to help you keep still during your test. You might like to plan what you want to. I'll need to measure from your nose to your ear to know how far the swab needs to go inside. By the time you count slowly to five, the test should be over. One, two, three, four, Five. That's it. One. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Breathe. Oh. Breathe through your mouth. There's a clock. There's a clock. Oh. I know, sweetheart. I wish there was a better way we could test it. Oh. Almost done. Uh. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. And we're done. I think taking it out's worse. Son of a gun. I think pulling it out is worse. You okay? Yes, okay. I'll, I will be okay. I'll survive. Okay. You want to? Paper towel? Yes, please. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I think you took half of my brain there with you. Nope. <laughs> Thank you. I know. It's because it's going to hurt. Oh, jeez. Oh, you hear that? You know that first one? No, but if you hear it. Breathe. Breathe. I'm already impressed. Really? <laughs> Wait, time out. That's not. See, it's not $8. Oh, wow. <laughs> all the way to fucking there. Wait, time out. Oh my god. It's all the way to the line. It's about seven inches. It's, it's gonna curve out of her eye. Oh shit. It scratches the back of your, your brain. No, but that's what I'm going to do.
Fuck, that fucking sucked. It does. The swab will be in your nose or throat for about 10 seconds. If it goes into your nose, it helps to blow your nose right before. Take a deep breath. When the swab goes in, count to 10 in your mind or out loud. And remember, your job is to hold very, very still. Some children who've had their nose checked. Para la toma de muestra, vamos a colocar al paciente a 45 grados y lo importante es entrar en forma horizontal, pero no vertical. Una vez que entramos en la narina, vamos a seguir hasta la nasofaringe, rotaremos el hisopo en forma suave para un lado y para el otro y luego retiraremos el hisopo que colocaremos en el medio de transporte. Este procedimiento no produce dolor, simplemente una leve molestia, pero no es cruento. Vamos a colocar al paciente a 45 grados, vamos a entrar en forma horizontal, nunca vertical, sino en forma horizontal, muy suavemente, hasta la parte, eh, hasta la nasofaringe, vamos a rotar el hisopo hacia un lado y hacia el otro, y luego vamos a retirar en forma muy suave. Esto no produce ninguna molestia ni disconfort. Vamos a observar si hay mucus, y si no, vamos a colocar en la otra narina. Una vez que retiramos el hisopo del paciente, colocamos el mismo en el medio de transporte, se rompe el hisopo, se cierra el tubo y se rotula con apellido. Uh, yeah, but type, mm -hmm. because this is a special type of swab mm -hmm. uh, that is prepared not to interfere with the RNA from the virus. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go ahead and collect down from the nasopharyngeal. And essentially what happens is he goes not up the nose, but down the nose. Go ahead. And it's basically a gentle push through the nose. Uh, it can be a bit discomfort, uh, uncomfortable, a bit of discomfort, but not quite painful. I'm sure Marcy will tell us once she's done with it. So he goes gently as far back as possible, and he's basically turning it around to collect the sample, and I think that's enough. Uh, so that is one sample already. Uh, then he'll collect from the back of the throat. We usually collect two swabs, because the reason why you collect it from the back of the throat and the back of the nose is because Open the package containing the sterile PureFlock Ultra Swab and aseptically remove from package. Tilt the patient's head backwards slightly to straighten the nasal passage from the front of the nose to the nasopharynx to make insertion of the swab easier. Insert the PureFlock Ultra Swab into one nostril straight back not upwards, and horizontally to the nasopharynx up to the measured distance on the swab handle. Take the swab up to five times and hold the swab in place for five to ten seconds to collect sample material. Insert the swab into the viral transport medium. Break the swab handle at scored breakpoint line. Replace cap and tighten to secure. Nasopharyngeal swabs are specifically manufactured to have long, flexible shafts made of plastic or metal and tips made of Dacron, Rayon, or flocked nylon. Have the patient take off her mask and blow her nose into a tissue to clear excess secretions from the nasal passages. Remove the swab from the packaging. Tilt the patient's head back slightly so that the nasal passages become more accessible. Ask the patient to close her eyes to lessen the mild discomfort of the procedure. Gently insert the swab along the nasal septum, just above the floor of the nasal passage, to the nasal pharynx, until resistance is felt. If you find resistance to the passage of the swab, back off and try reinserting it at a different angle. Close Your institution may also recommend rotating the swab in place several times before removing it. Ask the patient to reapply her mask. Hi there, my name is Jessica Preston. I'm VP of Medical Affairs at Helix Diagnostics. 
I'm also a physician assistant, and we're going to demonstrate a nasopharyngeal swab for you today. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to put this over here. So for a nasopharyngeal swab, you're going to feel my hand back here on the back of your head. If you lay your head back, you can blow out through your nose. What we're going to do is we're going to insert the swab inside of the nostril, and then we're going to point it a little bit immediately and, post immediately and posteriorly, okay? You can exhale through your nose if you'd like, if that'll make you feel better, okay? Keep on breathing, keep on breathing. You're doing a great job. You're doing great. We're almost done. You're doing great. Okay. And that's it, and we're done. Thank you so much. For eye protection, a surgical mask, and gloves. Put on the mask, goggles, and gloves. Step 5. Position the patient in a comfortable position, if possible, with his head against a wall to ensure that he does not move during the sample collection process. Step 6. Remove the OP swab from the and insert the swab through the nares parallel to the palate, not upwards, until resistance is encountered or the distance is equivalent to that from the ear to the nostril of the patient indicating contact with the nasopharynx. Gently rub and roll the swab. Leave the swab in place for several seconds to absorb secretions before removing. Note that tearing is a normal response. Step 10, place the swab immediately into a sterile vial containing two milliliters of VTM without antibiotics. Samples can be placed. Step 12, when collection is complete, Nasal passages are a little more accessible, and the swab is going to stand for 10 to 15 seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. After I get the swab, I'm going to transfer it into the viral medium right away, and I'm going to break off the swab into the viral medium. All right. No pressure. And I'm going to go right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now the swab is going to get broken off into the viral medium right here at this mark. And I already checked my identifiers for my patient. She's going to confirm that this is her. Yes. I'm going to label my specimen and send it to the lab. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Ubicar la cabeza en un ángulo de 45 grados, tener en cuenta la distancia entre la punta de la nariz y el pabellón de la oreja. Una vez tenga pendiente, procedo a la realización de la toma. Lo saco, procedo, La idea es guiarme por la distancia, como ya lo dije, entre la punta de la nariz y el pabellón de la oreja, pero siempre teniendo en cuenta la pared. ¿Cuál es la idea? La recolección de células, más no la extracción de moco. Posteriormente, ya encuentro el tope de la pared, realizo giros completos hacia la derecha, hacia la izquierda, extraigo, Tengo mi transporte. And provide tissue paper or ghost pad. Take a sterile soap stick and insert into one nostril. Swap passed through the floor of the nasal cavity until a resistance is felt. and kept it for a few seconds. Rotated and then taken out. A 
insert the same swab stick into the other nostril and repeat the same procedure, the patient may sneeze. After taking the swab, dip it into the viral transport media and cut the excess swab. Vamos colocar até essa última resistência. Gira. Aí tu puxa. Não sai lágrima do olho. Coloca uma vizinha. Tu tem que cortar. Sai. Tem que cortar, ó. Tadinho. Foi bom, gente. Já tá passando, tá? Tem uma pequena reação ali que o paciente vai lágrimar mesmo. Magalaw dahil. we're going to be doing is looking at the conjunctival and when we're checking for chlamydia we need to actually get cells because chlamydia is intracellular so for patients what you'll do is you'll bring down the lower lid and you want to be very careful with your metal tip swab not to get anywhere near the globe and you simply go into the first two three centimeters and rub firmly against in a downward position against the skin so that you can collect cells and then put that in your sample media. You have to be very careful that the tip does not get near the eye and that you actually get a swab of cells. The last culture that you're going to be doing on yourselves involves checking inside the nose 
This is a favorite place of certain viruses and for pertussis to hang out. It's not easily cultured in any other location. So you're going to use a very thin tipped uh, tube because you want to induce as little discomfort as possible. You're going to go towards your patient. Remember that the nasal passages go straight back. So you want to lift the tip of the nose. You want to put the sample in parallel, going a few centimeters above the bottom of the opening and going straight back about an inch and a half. And then you're going to twirl the sample slowly and leave it in for a total of about 15 to 30 seconds and then bring it out. I don't want to see any. Turn it this way. A nasal swab goes down the throat or up through the nose. So if you can pull down your mask. Okay. Am I swabbing? I've never had this done before. Okay. Yes, it's startling, but it's over in a moment. That's it. It's all done. The results take 24 hours, but doctors urge people not to just show up in hospital. We need to be... Everything. So we're going to go on the left side. So again, we want to be horizontal with the nose. I'm going to actually tilt her up only a bit because I'm high, uh, taller than she is. And then I'm going to just gently go in there and I want to stay along the floor. And it is going to be uncomfortable, so... Breathe. There, okay, good. So I, I, that was part of your septum. I'm going slowly now because it's less uncomfortable if you go a little slower. And now I'm at the back and that's when she made that weird face. And I, I, you can do, twirl it around back there and then out. And that's it. That's how you should do it. The procedure begins with the patient positioned in an upright position. Tilt the patient's head back slightly so that the nasal passages become more accessible. Have the patient close their eyes to reduce discomfort. Rotate the swab, then remove the swab and place it into its container, which is then sent for testing. Dalla sua confezione, alzare leggermente la punta del naso, introdurre il tampone perpendicolarmente al volto del paziente, superare l'orifizio narinale e appoggiandolo sul pavimento nasale farlo scivolare delicatamente indietro. Arrivare fino in fondo nel rino faringe, ruotare il tampone in un senso e nel senso opposto, lasciarlo per qualche secondo e poi rimuoverlo delicatamente. Posizionare il tampone nel suo, nella sua confezione. Seguire il pavimento della fossa nasale. È possibile che ci siano delle deviazioni del setto e quindi bisognerà trattare di scendere progressivamente fino alla rima parigia. Sente in fondo? Sì. Doloroso? Sì. Più o meno, vero? Oh. Non c'è la deviazione del set. Mami Uchia, Mami Uchia. Nice. <laughs>
Can I hold your hand? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, I gotta go up the other side. That's not far enough. Oh, God. <laughs> Try not to punch your nose. <laughs> Good. Hang tight, hang tight. Oh my goodness. You did so good.